There's no such thing as a bad agency client. There's only a bad prospect or a bad process. So another busy day getting back from a two-day conference, um, meeting with a couple clients, doing a Facebook Live at noon today, and uh, you know just really doing more planning for the longer term. It really goes back to you know a lot of what I've told you that Amazon does that makes a really big difference for them. It's all about long-term planning and really sticking to it. It's not just about long-term planning and not doing anything, but long-term planning and actually taking action. That's a big difference. So let's get into today's daily question. And that question is from Luis. We've been doing a lot of restructuring lately, services, prices, even staff slash contractors. Got me wondering, if you had the chance to start your agency again, what would you do differently? Well, um, I think there's a limit on the length of YouTube videos of what I would do differently. But if I had to think like the one thing that I would do differently, I guess it really comes down to, I guess maybe two things. So maybe I'll over deliver. I think it would be determining who is our perfect prospect and who, who are the type of clients that we want and sticking to that. Don't making any exceptions based on payroll coming up or you know, man, the pipeline's starting to dry up. I need to take on these clients because that distracts you. And really thinking about what would be, what would that client look like? If I was being paid on performance only, who could I deliver the biggest impact for that I enjoyed the most that we had knowledge on? And really sticking to that. And then the second one is, is and it kind of relates to this, it's about delivering the solution or services that we can really deliver on. Like not trying to do everything, but doing one thing amazing. Like why would you want to be a, the jack of all trades versus being the expert or the leader in one? Start with one service, one solution that you know without a doubt for that particular perfect client, that perfect prospect, you can knock it out of the park. If you do that, you'll be so much more successful. The guy was saying that, there's no such thing as a bad agency client. There's only a bad prospect or a bad process. And if you do these two things, for the most part, it can eliminate that because you're only taking on the people that you feel that meet your criteria. Sure, some people will sneak in, that kind of stuff. And sure, you'll always be adapting your services and your solutions to making that better. But for the most part, that is what I would do again if I had to. I think this is a, a great question and I would like to hear your comments below of what you would do over again if you had to start your agency. So comment below. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe as well and make sure you check out the other episodes uh, that we're doing around the blog. I'd love to hear your comments. I read all of them and I am the one responding. <laughs> you can't tell from all the typos. Thank you.